Hello everyone, it's Laura here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video I'm gonna show you how to make some fun shaker tags using products from the Crafting Desert Divas October 2017 release. For this project I used the shaker tag dies by Crafting Desert Divas as well as images from the Oh What Fun stamp set as well as the Christmas Wishes stamp set that I'm showing over here. I also used other stamp sets from the October 2017 release and you will find the list of all the supplies that I used in my blog post which will be linked down below if you're watching this video on my YouTube channel. And if you're watching this on the Crafting Desert Divas channel, you will find all the supplies listed in the description box directly. For this project, I decided to use some pattern paper by American Crafts. And this will not only give a finished look to my tags very easily, but it also will guide me in picking the colors for the images I will color later on. So I cut the front of my shaker tags using the shaker tag die set and I'm also now using the fancy frame dies also by Crafting Desert Divas to cut the window in the front of my shaker. So I'm trying to position this rectangle die as centered as I can and I'm running everything through my die cutting machine. Here I am creating the background for my shaker tags. I took some Bristol Smooth cardstock and I am marking more or less the size of the opening in my uh, tag fronts so that I can trim this down and then go ahead and add some color. I am using Distress Inks in Candid Apple, Mod Lawn and Peacock Feathers and I'm trying to create a number effect from the bottom to the top. And Bristol Smooth cardstock is really, really easy to blend on. Like it has this smooth finish, as the name says, <laughs> and it makes the job of blending much, much faster. So here I'm coming in with the peacock feathers and also for the choice of the colors of distress inks, I try to follow a little bit the colors of the pattern paper I use so that I have everything looking neat and cohesive. I'm cleaning off my mat because I don't want to contaminate my sponges or my projects. And finally, I am inking up the third panel, which, as I said, I inked up with Mod Lawn. At this point, I am checking that everything looks nice together and I decided that it would look even nicer if I added a little bit of a distressed effect with some water splashes. And that's what I'm doing here. And I think it looks much nicer this way. I stamped three images from the Oh What Fun and the Christmas Wishes stamp set on some Bristol Smooth cardstock using VersaFine ink in Onyx Black and now I'm coloring them with my Zikling Colorio brush markers. Uh, because I wanted a bit of a more intense effect, I decided to just blend the markers with each other without adding any water, but you know, the choice is yours depending on what you like best. For this project, because the backgrounds were so bright and I also used uh, some very colorful pattern paper, I wanted a more intense look, as I said. Again, I am picking colors based on the color scheme of the pattern paper I used. So I am sticking to greens, aqua blues and reds. And I also added some neutrals like browns and grays for the hair and the accessories. And obviously the skin tones. And I'm using typically two markers per color so that I get some nice shading. I am keeping the coloring pretty easy and I am shading everything as if my light source is on the top left of my images. And yeah, that's it. I think I have said what I had to say about the coloring. I will now leave you with some music while I finish off coloring all the images and I will catch you guys when it's time to assemble the shaker tags.
Once the coloring was over, I could go ahead and start prepping everything in order to assemble my shaker tags. I cut three tags out of uh, some heavyweight white cardstock and now I am adhering the backgrounds I created with distress inks on top of these shaker backs. Basically, it's what they will be in the end. And I am checking that I'm positioning them correctly so that everything looks neat once I assemble the shaker tags together. I am using Tombow Mono Multi Glue because it gives me a little bit of time to move things in place and position them properly. And there I just thought I had put the red panel upside down, but luckily it was not the case because it was already dry, the glue was already dry. I used sentiments from the Holiday Hugs, the Nice List and the Christmas Wishes stamp sets. And I am stamping them using Versafine Ink in Onyx Black. And I really like this ink. It's very juicy and this is a waterproof ink, so I used it with my Zikling Coloreal brush markers too. It was the first time actually I ever used it and I'm so glad I got it. So I will be using it with all my water coloring projects probably from now on. So you see I stamped the sentiments on the top left corner because I will position my images on the opposite uh, side of my shaker tag. And now I can start backing the back of my shaker fronts with some double-sided adhesive so that I can glue my acetate sheets. And here you can see I have already backed the window with some acetate for all three tags. And at this point I can go ahead and start filling my shakers with sequin. I used the Fairy Dust Sequin Mix by Crafting Desert Divas. I backed the front of my shaker tags with a double layer of foam tape. As you see I was very generous with the foam tape because I don't want my front to collapse, so I want it to be very well supported. And now I am adhering it on top. And for the almost final step, I am using again some dry adhesive, so some double-sided tape to add the images to the front of these shaker tags. And I'm trying to match them with the colors of the tags, so in the way that I think would, you know, the combination that I think would look best together. And I have to say that I'm really happy with the way these tags turned out. I think I will use them as Christmas decorations in my house because these images are so cute. And, you know, I really love shakers and shaker cards and shaker tags. So I'm going to put them to good use. And as a very final step, I am threading some ribbon through. This is some ribbon that I got at a local store, but it matches perfectly these tags, especially the central one with the gift boxes. It's just perfect for the pattern paper, so I was really happy that I got to use it and not just look at it because it's pretty. And that's it! That's my project for today. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and you found it useful. If so, please let me know in the comments below, leave this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. You can visit my blog for the full list of supplies and I hope I'll be back soon with another video. Ciao!